everybody welcome to a video so i'm going to build an auto grinder that's afkable and you don't need any portals so zero portals needed and an added bonus is you could put this grinder on any team not just white team like over there you could put it on this side that side it doesn't really matter so let's start building it now okay so clear the plot now we could build you want to place like a pole thing on on the edge of the water this is important then you want to put a metal make make it a little bit thin make this around 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 like 14 or 15 blocks make this even if you want i suggest you make this even so like 14 by 14 wide is good and then place two blocks and make them thin as well this is going to be you're kind of like a block holder over here then extend this to make sure these two sides are even then place a temporary block over here then look down and place a block on on the underside of the temporary block then delete it connect these two and make this thin this is like your block container i will show you why you need it now you want to make your main pathway this pathway you can make it like really narrow if you want like like this narrow like one but you're not going to fit through so i'm going to just make it just make sure that this surface is flat you can scale back like here if you want to save materials and stuff. now that you have a brick here you want to extend this brick all the way up to about 280 you could click this plus symbol on the left side to open up the menu to let you see the dimensions so the center number has to be around 280 okay so i got to i got to 283 that's fine it doesn't have to be exact just between 280 and 285 it will work then grab a jetpack doesn't matter any type just fly up to the top when you're on top of here grab another block place it over there then grab another block make sure these two surfaces are flat because this is going to be the surface that you're going to travel on you could save save materials by make this thinner then extend this all the way out on both sides so you could cover the spawn around i'd say around 120 120 ish it should be fine then scale upwards make sure you cover the back of the spawn as well because you might spawn over there who knows then while you're flying grab something to stand on i'm gonna just get this like ship mask to stand on this is temporary you don't need this you don't need to keep this then make sure rotation is 45 degrees if you click the plus sign on the left side you can click rotate 45 make sure the corner of the blocks you're placing on this edge you don't need this to be gold just any block i'm gonna use a different block color just so it's easier then just extend both ways i think you know what this is where this is going this is just a funnel extend this out carefully because you're on the edge the whole piece might fall off if you don't extend it correctly just make a little wall like this on both sides now if you stand on the wall delete your temporary block make sure that the walls all go into the to the main pathway over here you want to go from go from here to all the way down there this is just a estimated path over there i'm gonna show i'm showing with gold blocks because why not lol after you're done the stuff on top go to the bottom place a chair like over here make sure there's some space so you could place a cake later if you can't move make move 0.5 on the left side here place a block near the border but not directly on it then place a chair make the chair at the edge of the block over here and it's also facing up after you place your chairs you want to build some railings for yourself so you don't fall off just put two blocks on each side then scale it up only a little bit make sure you don't scale into the ocean it's going to glitch out then just cover the entire entire rail entire track now place another chair and you want to place a cake at the edge of it this is going to be your main glitching part you want to have a measuring block over here you're going to measure how big your hole is so you can use any block to measure it so i'm going to fill this up all the way then i'm going to use scaling tool if i click the plus i can see that's 12 by 12. so after you measure the size of a hole you want to place a block behind the cake like this make sure it doesn't touch the ground then scale the cake to two under your block block size so mine's 12 by 12 so i'm going to scale mine to 10 by 10 let me just make this even because i like to even because i don't know ocd moment so i got it scaled to 10 by 10 over here the whole 12 by 12 just minus 2 that's the general rule for me place a spring on the back of a block like directly back then place the block here it doesn't matter which block just place one block after you do this part place a pilot c over here 
you're going to make a conveyor block if you know how to make conveyors you could skip forward if you want to i'm just doing this for those who don't know just place a butter in the back place a jet c and place place a random block i'm gonna choose i don't know marble block oh why not then let me just extend this so this is going to be your conveyor block and now you can save your build so yeah you're basically done with the build and now just sit over here you want to set this up place a cake on the metal part delete the chair and the and the pole that's holding this entire thing up then sit in the front chair you placed place a ladder or anything to link the ground to the metal part so the part metal part doesn't glitch out and stuff go to this thing and sit over here place a butter inside your body or directly on top of the chair then place a hinge block facing inside delete the chair you should use shift lock for this just use shift lock to steer and use the forward key to go upwards and you hold down space and you can start flying you want to fly to the second stage or pass two black borders now you're at the second stage over here use your screwdriver tool anchor the block at the other end of the spring then you want to scale try to scale it if you try to scale it it's not gonna work but you're going to free yourself from the block then fly back to your base when you're back at your base delete the hinge only after you delete the hinge you want to line up the gold part to the hole that's why i tell i tell you to make the gold part smaller so you could make it fit inside and when you're done delete the butter and delete the cake when you're done with this part go sit in the chair Put, get your screwdriver tool click this marble block or any block you place behind the jet you know if you know how to make a conveyor this is process then anchor it when the thing is moving now just scale this block into the metal part and make sure the metal part moves like scale into it like this and if you're if you're dying into the water that's great now now that you're back place a block at the corner of this but do not Connect it to the metal, it's going to break the entire thing. Then scale it up a little bit. Stand on the gold block to measure it. You want to scale it to maybe like mid length, like middle of your body length. And now place a block on top, make sure it's the bouncy block. You have to do a bouncy block. There's a monkey, you can ignore him. Make sure the make sure the bouncy block doesn't go bounce like this if it does to fix it by extending the wood into the bouncy block so it wouldn't move and make sure the metal part doesn't touch the bouncy you have to use the bouncy block or else this thing is not going to work a hundred percent of the time now you're basically finished set up after you build that edge you're basically done so what you do is you want to have a weight like some heavy object on your keyboard that's pressing the forward key whatever you you use then if you keep holding that key you can afk grind and now i'm going to show you the farm in action so this is just going to be a little time lapse of me using the farm so you're going to know how you can use them and if you pressing the, if you're pressing the forward key and it doesn't work try pressing other keys because it works it's different keys on different sides of the map so on this side i'm going to press the d key so go rightwards and by the way this farm you cannot use it with another friend because this this uses a type of d server desync glitch so which means that your friend cannot see that block that block over there will not be on their screen so this is just an this is just a solo farm your friend will have to make their own like block block thing if they want to grind using the same grinder as you and yes i know that the spawn isn't completely covered that's just my fault you're supposed to completely cover the spawn if you oh and on the side note you can adapt this into your portal version just put a portal next to the 45 degree angle like bouncy block and put another portal at the very bottom of the void then you could you can make this faster technically so you don't have to die in the water water kills you kind of slowly so it's actually a disadvantage to be a royal member because i get more hp as this rank so if you have less hp that's actually an advantage for to this grinder and this is going to be the end of the video for this portalless any team working afk grinder if you like consider subscribing and see you guys next time